Hi people, this is Chris for Drums Bonedo. Welcome to the channel. Today we have three very special metal snares for you. The DS drum seamless snares made of aluminum, copper and brass. DS drum has been around since 1959. In addition to wooden shells made in house, they now have a new line of metal snares that are also made in Italy. A special feature are the seamless spun shells. This type of construction, where a single sheet of metal is formed into a shell, has been considered more or less the standard for a good aluminum snare since Ludwig's supraphonic and acrylite drums. With brass and copper materials, this construction method is less common. Although there are some quite legendary models out there as well. Think for example of the first reissue of the Ludwig Black Beauty with a seamless brass shell from the late 1970s which is still considered as the studio reference today. Yamaha also had some very successful models with seamless shells in their lineup. And of course, not to be forgotten, Sonor with their legendary ferromangan snare drums. Contemporary brands of seamless sponge shells are for example Oriolo drums from Serbia or Joyful Noise from the USA. Even if a seamless snare shell is widely considered as a quality feature, this does not mean that they always necessarily sound better than welded shells. After all, there are many factors that make up a very good sounding drum. But before I get too philosophical here, let's take a look at the specs of the three DS drums. All drums are 14 by 6 inches in size and are equipped with 10 double tension lugs in the typical DS drum look. The shells have a center beat that curves outward and it's also noticeable that the flange on the bottom is longer. DS also states that the wall thicknesses increases towards the lower part. That means towards the resonant head. The aluminum snare shell measures an average of 2.2 mm, while the copper snare and brass snare have a wall thickness of 1.3 mm. The snare beds are quite narrow in relation to the 22 spiral snare wires and the beds are 2.2 mm deep. The drums are assembled with Remo USA heads ambassador coated and snare side and the tensioning screws are equipped with washers with a conical sealing ring which helps to keep the tuning. The 2.3 mm hoops as with the Venom kit have an inwardly curved shape. In terms of weight the three drums turn out quite differently although identically equipped. The copper model weights 5.3 kg, the brass model 5.57 kg and the aluminum snare 3.97 kg. The prices are also very different. While the aluminum snare is relatively affordable at 589 euros, the brass model costs 849 and the copper model, which is sitting behind me in the shelf, costs 889 euros. At least for these two you have to dig deep into your pocket. What is immediately noticeable when playing, all snares have quite a lot of power and especially with the brass snare and even more so with the copper model, a very nice and quite long sounding shell tone can be heard. So if you are into resonant, lively metal snares, they could be the one for you. Most aluminum snares I have had under my sticks are a bit quieter by feel. That's what I like about the DS Alu snare, that it has a nice presence and bite to it. Otherwise, the copper model has the most tone, while the brass model has a nice blend of warmth and bite. I just love brass snares for those attributes. So now let's have a listen to them in a medium tuning range. What I also noticed, the snare wires have a very large proportion in the overall sound of the drums. This is certainly a matter of taste and is not so noticeable in the interaction with the kit and the three toms. Here you can listen to a few bars with a copper snare, to give you an idea what I mean.
<laughs> but if you listen very closely or if you want to have a very controlled and short signal, it does not work so well in combination of the very long and wide wire model in proportion to the narrow snare beds. This is especially the case for the copper and the brass model because here the snare beds are also shaped a little differently compared to the aluminum one and have a wider contact surface on the bead. But I tried something else and pulled two other narrower wires from my collection onto the brass snare. A pure sound 12 strand and also a Bebin custom model also with 12 spirals which are spaced a bit further apart. So here's a little comparison sound file for you with a pure sound 12 strand and then with the stock wires. So for my taste, the snare sounds simply better with a 12 strand wire because of the crisper articulation and also there's no rattling noise afterwards. Also, the character of the shell tone comes out even more. And if I'm in need for an even stronger snarey sound, I can simply turn the microphone under the snare or in my case on the floor between snare and bass drum a little louder in the mix. So if you are a fan of very wide 40 spiral wires, which are common on Gretsch snares for example, these DS snares, at least with the current snare bed shape, are not the right thing. Here the S drum should rethink their concept. A snare bed that runs out wider would simply set up the drum much more flexible, as I said also with regard to wider snare wires, for example with 25 to 40 spirals, as many drummers out there like them. Otherwise, all three drums are great snares that serve the typical metal snare sounds of copper, aluminum and brass, but have a tech more bite and tone. And, and this is incredibly important for my taste, also feel very comfortable under the drumstick. Okay, now let's have a listen to the high and low tuning of all three drums. Also, for those two sound files, I equipped the brass model with the mentioned 12 strand wires from B-Bean. So you can have a comparison how they sound with those. Tuning wise, all drums sounded best in a medium to high tuning range for my taste. What is your opinion on the 3DS metal snares? Do you consider buying one of them? Feel free to write it in the comments. So that's it for today. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I see you next time. Bye.